Hey everybody and welcome back to Beauty Swirl. So today we're coming at you with number seven of my eBay hauls. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start the video because you know I can ramble. So we have here this vanity mirror tray and I got this for $43.25 and I think that was a great buy because I do see like the wooden ones in like Walmart and other little retail stores and they're like $30, $40. So I think this was great because you get the nice little trimmings on it. It's a gray slash silver type color. You have the beautiful mirror inside as you can see there. And I think it's just a great buy. It has some weight to it so it's not gonna tear apart. The shipping was very quick on this. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a five out of five because it was just a great buy. And I just have this in my living room on my ottoman. I'll just put some flowers in it and my candle. You can also use this for like makeup products. You can use it for your perfumes. You can store whatever you want in this, you know, if you wanna just decorate it up a little bit. So that's why I love this tray because it's multifunctional. And yes, I love it. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next product which will be the floating shelves that I picked up. I really, really love these shelves. Even though it's a little bit hmm, wider than I expected it to be, I guess that'll still be a good thing because you get a lot of space on top of those shelves. I paid $80 for three shelves and I think that was a great price because I went to Home Depot and Walmart and all that and they were way more than $80. So I think that was a great buy. It looks good on my wall. It's sturdy, it's holding all of my brushes and a few little you know center pieces so i'm gonna give that a five out of five also because it's just it, it's serving its purpose and it looks good so five out of five <laughs> all right so next is gonna be my nabby liquid lipsticks and these are 24 pieces I got these for $39 and that's with shipping included. It has an array of colors. You have your nudes, your pinks, your purples, your reds, and I just love it. I just love it so much. I'm gonna so here is what the packaging looks like. The color that we have here is purple, quite fitting. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the doubtful applicator. It looks like that, looks functional. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick swatch on my hands. This one is not that pigmented. So I'll say it's light coverage. You might have to go by maybe two or three times to get the full opacity. But for the price, you can't be, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? It smells good, it smells like, I don't know, it has a nice, it has a nice sweet smell, so. I can't really place it, but it doesn't smell bad. I'm gonna see how long it takes to dry down. So far, I'm liking the liquid lipsticks. I've tried a few of them, and I like the few that I did try. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a five out of five also, because you get 24 liquid lipsticks for only $40 almost, you know, less than $40. And you know, a typical liquid lipstick run you from like, like ColourPop is $6 each up to like, Anastasia Beverly Hills, almost $20. So you get all of these for $40. And the um, and it's also 0.32 ounce. You get 0.32 ounce inside of the bottle. And it has a two year shelf life. So I think that was a great buy. So five out of five. All right, so the next one is a little treat. I really, really love this display. So this is gonna be the display of the day. And this is a MAC display, but it's not a typical MAC display. Uh, you'll see why. <laughs> Looks like that. So you see here we have this little display. This was made from wood and it is a white color and it fits all different types of matte products inside. It fits the beauty powders, the blushes, the eyeshadows, the paint pots, the bigger paint pots, some pigments, lipstick, and right here is supposed to be a beacon. You know the beacon that they have in the store that they put like maybe alcohol to clean the brushes. It does go right there, but I don't know where mine is. I did move recently, so things are not in its correct place, so I don't have it to show you right now. So I stand corrected. I just looked in my drawer and I found it. So here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in its rightful place. 
So it came like that. So I have the beacon and you will put like alcohol or whatever in there to clean your brushes. To make sure everything is sanitized, you clean like your lipsticks, your lip pencils, things of that nature with the beacon. You can see like how the holes look in it. It is indented there so you can see what it fits. So that's why I want to show you with it full because I want you to see, you know, how the holes look, what size to compare it to and all that jazz. So this uh, mascara is the Zoom Fast Black Lash and it fits perfectly on this side. The other side is perfect to hold the lipsticks. So I paid $35 plus shipping, which would be $6.39. It came pretty quickly. So yes, I do love this little display. They have many different type of display. They have like the two tier and other things. I need to go back on there and see what else they have because I bought this like a long time ago. I bought it April 17th, 2015. So that's been a while that has been in my collection. I wonder what else they have. I'm probably gonna go ahead and look at their site and see what else they have that I wanna get. But that is what this looks like. I really do enjoy this. I can fit all of my little MAC products inside. So this will be perfect for like a makeup artist. You could take it on your job and you just have everything displayed here for each person. You can have an array of products that you wanna use with them. You can have their foundation, their blush, the eyeshadow, and all the other little things that you're gonna use on them. This is just a perfect thing to use. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a five out of five also. Today is a good day for me. I'm, I'm very generous today, huh? <laughs> Everything's getting a five out of five, but I really do think it deserves it. So I do love this. So I wanted to touch back on the liquid lipstick. It did take about three to four minutes to dry down and that's what it looks like. I like it. It's looking good. Just a little bit light coverage. You might have to go over twice with that. So lastly, I'm gonna bring you guys a dupe alert. This dupe alert, I don't have the original to show you to compare. So I wasn't gonna show you guys this, but I just decided to go ahead and just show it. And it's the Lorac Pro uh, Mega Palette. It looks like that. And I purchased that for $11.44, and that's what shipping included. So you guys know when I show dupe alerts, I do not leave links in the bottom bar because I don't want to promote, you know, counterfeit or replica palettes. I'm not sure if it's a counterfeit, but for the price, I'm guessing that it is. It could be just a damaged palette and they just sold it on eBay, but I'm not sure. So when I'm not sure about things, I'm just gonna, you know, not link it in the bottom bar, but you guys can look it up on eBay yourselves. That's what the outside looks like, the packaging. Looks like that. Looks legit to me, so I'm not sure. Here's what it looks like. There's the back. And it does have like that matte finish. And here is what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, the mirror is broken. But other than the mirror being broken, the mirror doesn't look too bad. Well, I'll take that back. The mirror does look kind of, you know, flimsy. Kind of ratchet, but okay. So we have a little clear foam on top of it, or film, or whatever you want to call this that there uh, and there are all the colors they're so pretty so I'm just zooming in a little bit for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and give you a few swatches let's see okay yeah so I'm I'm guessing this hmm you know what I was about to say that it wasn't good quality but it's just that one was light pigment the rest of them came out pretty pigmented pigmentation I would say it's okay it's definitely not probably the real palette because I think the real palette is more pigmented than that. Even though I don't have the real one, I'm guessing that it would be more pigmented than that. I'm hoping it would. Uh, but the shadows are pretty decent, so, you know, either way, I'll probably use it. But that is what it looks like. There's the names on them if you want to compare it to the original. So yeah, that is my dupe alert. All right, so there you have it. We have all of our products that we discussed on eBay number seven. So what was your favorite product of this episode? Please let me know in the comment section below what your favorite was. Also, let me know if you've seen better deals on any of these things. Leave the link in the bottom bar below. Not bottom bar, I always say bottom bar. Leave the link in the comment section below so that we will get a better deal on these things. And oh, I forgot to tell you guys what I think of this palette. I will give it a two out of five. You'll get a two. 
give it a two. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other eBay hauls right here. And I will see you guys in my next video. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're gonna go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.